It was the last thing in the world I wanted to do, but I had a meeting uh, with Robert Campbell in his offices, telling him about the history makers and how much I'd love to have them in a permanent home. And at the end of the day, he said, why don't you do a book, Angela? And so Robert, Robert Campbell is the boss at the Roman Baths, isn't he? And he's the heritage, head of heritage. Head of heritage, yes. to give him his official title. And you're referring to those boards because a few years ago, you had a display, did you not, of some of the, the great of Bath? That's right, I did, alongside Bath Abbey, and that was a great success and raised a lot of money. So I felt there was more room to do something further, but I needed somebody to push me into doing a book. How difficult was it to come up with heroes and heroines and villains? Well, I was very lucky because having done the exhibition, they were all there and I added a few more on. Um, and it worked well. It worked well. I'm, I'm interested in who you would regard as being a villain. Well, poor Bobby Crocker was supposed to be a villain, but actually it was a bit of an unfair who, who was he in a nutshell? He was put in the stocks uh, for selling a newspaper unofficially on a Sunday. And the crowd took pity on him. So, yes, but he, there were so many villains that went into the stocks. And I have got one up my sleeve as well, but it's quite tricky picking up villains and not spoiling the read for people. OK, who's, who's your favourite hero and who is your favourite heroine? My favourite heroine has to be Mary Shelley and her mother. Uh, who's my favourite? Probably at the moment William Harbert because he's local and my family knew his family so I'm a bit partial but there were so many even better ones. Are you amazed at the number of characters this city's produced? Oh absolutely and we're always learning about more and more. Today I've learned about Clara Cross. Um, amazing lady who worked at St Martin's and transformed it into the hospital that it became and a legend working with mostly men and, and in a man's world. Is she in the book? She's in the book. Yes, she's in the book. Now, as time goes by, we may have new heroes and heroines and I'm sure there's a few villains around. Would you do a second edition? I think I'd leave that to somebody else. <laughs> And I've I, done my bit. Are you raising money for charity? Yes, Richard, I am, and that's the most important factor. I'm raising money for focused counselling. I just feel nowadays so many people, young and old, need counselling, and this is where there's a very strong need of help. Where will your book be available to buy? Well, at the moment, it will be available at Bath Abbey Bookshop, uh, Mr Bees, uh, Oldfield Park Bookshop at Harry's, and The Silver Shop. I'm just going slowly, slowly, and then obviously I will expand the area. Well, the best of luck with your new publication, Angela. Well done. Thank you very much are, indeed. Are you in it? What do you think, Richard? As a heroine? <laughs> None at all. <laughs> oh, you, you should be. I've made you blush. Very kind of you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for attending the History Makers of Bath book launch. In particular, I am delighted to welcome the Right Worshipful, the Mayor of Bath Councillor, Michelle O'Doherty. Thank you. You may wonder why on earth I decided to dedicate a book to a few Bath History Makers. There are a number of reasons, but principally to celebrate a selection of our History Makers and to highlight the importance of Bath's overall history not just the Romans and Georgians already well presented in the city. However, my main reason for the book is to celebrate Bath's history makers and to explore their full potential. Their legacies attract visitors worldwide and encourage people to choose Bath as their home. Yet, very few people have any idea of their tangible assets, who they are or their ability to inspire new generations whether it be engineering, art, theatre, sport, and much more. Understanding the success and failures of Bath history makers provides significant education for us all. <laughs>